Joining us on the show out of Houston, Angie Keck, who is an award-winning realtor. Good to have you on the show, Angie. First time we've had you on out of Houston. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. So let's start broad, talk a little bit about the Houston market and what you're seeing happening down there. So how's real estate doing in Houston? So, you know, real estate is great. It's springtime. It's beautiful if you overlook all the pollen, but it's a great time here. We're kind of um, going through a, a different thing than we normally do. You know, we had that thing called Harvey that happened several months back, and it's really changed everything for us. So we have a lot of homes that are being um, flipped and taken care of and put back on the market. And so it's really kind of a wait and see how everything mm -hmm. goes. Um, and it's it's different from, you know, the lower level of the market to all the way up into the luxury. So um, we're all just kind of watching and waiting and seeing what's happening. But right now, sales are good. Um, and there's a lot of cash in the city, I've noticed. Um, you know, normally we do just have investors that had cash. But we have a lot of people that um, have buyouts from the state or they just have a lot of cash and um, they're going in and they're buying whatever they want and paying whatever they want for it. And it has created a little bit of a bubble in certain markets. So mm. it's kind of a fun time. It's, it's an exciting time in Houston. Interesting. Now you do a lot of luxury real estate as well, correct? That's right. What are you That's seeing right. in that in market? Um, so, you know, things are, things are staying on the market a little bit longer. Um, it is springtime. So things do typically sell quicker in the spring and the summer. Um, and the, especially when it has a fabulous school district, people want to get in before, um, you know, mid August. Uh, but yeah, things are kind of, um, sitting on the market a little bit longer than we'd really like. Um, and it kind of depends on each market. So where I'm at in Memorial, um, we've got, um, a lot of houses that are coming on the market. I feel like there are really good deals out there and people just aren't ready to jump, but I feel they should totally do it. It's, it's a great time and their prices are great. Interesting. I want to switch gears here. I know that, uh, okay. you've, you've advocated for protesting your taxes. What do you mean by that? Yeah. I mean, I know taxes aren't really a fun thing to talk about. But, um, you know, we have to pay them every year. And here in Texas, uh, we have property tax, okay? And so, um, you know, if you, have, if you have a house and it's your homestead, uh, you know, the county, and we're in Harris County, but there's several counties um, when you talk about Houston proper. But Harris County can actually go up on your taxes, your property taxes, 10% each year. Um, and there's some caveats there that we can we can talk about at a later date. Um, but, you know, after 10 years of them going up on your property, 10 percent, your property value has doubled. OK, and that's mm -hmm. a big deal to be paying taxes on that. So mm -hmm. a lot of people don't realize what's going to happen and, and people don't even protest their taxes. Um, and so there's a lot of companies that have come out that will protest your taxes for you. And um, they're great. Uh, you know, they, they definitely fill a need. But what most people don't understand is they can go on and protest their taxes in 10 minutes or less online and they can do it for free. Outstanding. So, um, that, no, that's great niche advice. No, thank you for going deep on that. I mean, We've been doing this show all across the country. That's the first time I've even heard that. So that's awesome. Hey, real quick before I, I let you go yeah. here, give us an example of one of your cooler listings that you have. Okay, so I have this really cool house in Hunters Creek. Hunters Creek is part of Spring Branch ISD, and it's known as Memorial. And this is Memorial Close In. This is the real Memorial. We're in the Villages Hunters Creek Village. It's 906 Oak Valley. Um, and it's a really cool house. It's a very, very large house. It's on a nice wooded lot. And um, this funny, the funny thing about this house is um, this was Ken Lay's original home he built back in the day. This is before Enron, of course. But um, if you know anything about Houston, Ken Lay, this was his house. So it's kind of a, kind of a unique house. It's very well built very lovely house. It's zoned to Hunters Creek Elementary, Spring Branch Middle, and of course, Memorial High School, which everybody wants to get into. So um, if you're looking for a house in the Memorial area, want to go have your kids go to some of the best schools in the state, this is definitely the house for you. Angie, awesome, yes. awesome Thank knowledge you. shared today from the market to luxury to protesting taxes and you even shared an awesome listing, and I know you have a bunch more. My hope is that our audience knows that if they have questions about Houston real estate, 
They can visit you online, engage with you. Angie, thank you so much for coming on the American Dream. Great knowledge shared today. Thanks so much, Craig. Bye-bye. More of the program coming up next.